In today's show, we dive in and take a look at Cameron Stanley's big signing. And the Viking Warriors are doing something very special for Valentine's Day. I'm Haley. And I'm Ryan. And this is SVTV. Pacific ACT prep classes in science this evening. There are still slots available for the ACT power prep class on Friday the 15th. Stop by the front office to pick up your registration form now. We need everyone's help to plan a fun safe after prom event. Tell your parents to sign up for Afterglow. If you have any questions about volunteering, please contact Tammy Holler. Kiss the Pig starts this week. Whatever teacher you want to see Kiss the Pig will place their money in their drawer. All pre proceeds go to SCARS. There's a meeting for those auditioning for the Viking Variety Show. The meeting has been rescheduled for Tuesday morning at 7.40 a.m. on the stage. Please sign up for an audition slot. There's a $500 scholarship opportunity for seniors by Dr. Steve Noble. Seaman USC 345 applications are due the 19th. The Viking Warriors are doing something special for Valentine's Day. Here's Allie with more. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Miss Carlson to learn more about the photo booth. So what exactly is it? It is an area in the Viking Bay that this week you can come stop by and grab a few friends or you can do it yourself and um, we have lots of props that you can use and you just come over, stand in front of our awesome background that Miss Crystal has made, ta-da, and take a picture with your friends using our um, props and it only costs a dollar. Awesome. Make sure and check it out. If you're interested, check it out during passing period or after school. Juniors, if you're interested in the internship program, you must submit an application by March 1st. Seniors, the Seaman High School Alumni Association awards two $500 scholarships to graduating seniors. Application deadline is also March 1st. If you enjoy drawing, Seaman Art Club's monthly drawing nights are a great opportunity to grow skill sets, build your portfolio, and connect with other artists. The next drawing session is February 14th from 6 to 7.30 in room 901. Shawnee County Parks and Recreation needs volunteers for its Kids Night Out program serving children ages 6 to 11. We'll be back with sports after this quick commercial break. Do you have a gently used stuffed animal? If so, come donate one at the boys basketball game. I loved you once, now somebody else can. Come join the Teddy Bear Toss donation during halftime at the boys basketball game versus Topeka West on Tuesday, February 12th. The stuffed animals will be going to the Kansas Highway Patrol. I will choose. I will choose. I will choose to respect my body. To rise above. To put myself first. 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 Think I, want them, I, don't want them. I will choose not to fall victim to this cruel trap. It's my body. It's, it's our, our body. I will choose to keep my future in my own hands and not in the hands of people who will harm it. I will choose to say no to nudes. I will choose to ignore, delete, block, unfriend, unfriend. report, sexting. All these people in the room. I will choose to end this crisis. To not let last year's events repeat themselves. You don't need to see all of me. To know. Love. Appreciate me. Trying to make you understand. To all the I will choose. I will choose. We will choose. I will choose. To send love. 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 I will choose to send love, not nudes. Tomorrow, the basketball teams will be taking on Topeka West at home. The theme is Whiteout. All students will receive a free t-shirt at the game. You must show your student ID to, re to receive a t-shirt. At halftime of the boys game, there will be a teddy bear toss. Make sure you bring your new or gently used stuffed animals. 
JV Wrestling finished 5th out of 20 teams in the Burlington Tournament this weekend. Last Friday, Boys Swim and Dive won the Centennial League by just 3 points. If any girls interested in winning the Centennial League of their own, 10th through 12th grade girls should attend the informational meeting this Wednesday and Friday at 315 in room 911. All boys interested in playing golf need to stop by Coach Blackman's room E4 to sign up this week. There will be an informational meeting for anyone interested in competing in track and field this spring in Coach Peterson's room in 10 right after school today. Spring practices will begin February 25th. Cameron Stanley recently signed to swim with Delta State next year. Let's check it out. Delta State is like, when I went there, it felt the most home. Um, it gives me the best opportunity for swimming and uh, my major coming up. And um, uh, it's just like the team was very welcoming and very supportive. And I think there I'll be able to make my swimming career even better than what it is now. So that's why I chose it. This is definitely one of the hardest decisions I've ever made. You know, after going to several D1, D2 colleges, trying to figure out, you know, what the best program for aviation and swimming, what fits best. And as my mom said, you know, there's only eight, so I had a selective choice of what I could choose. Um, but Delta State felt like the most home. Uh, the team was very welcoming, and you know, the aviation program was the best I've ever seen. Uh, so it was a very good experience when I went there, and I, I'm excited to start. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, one of the other reasons why I picked Delta State is uh, for aviation. It's one of the only colleges that has swimming and aviation, so having both of those uh, really narrows down the colleges a lot. So um, Delta State has like one of the best aviation uh, programs in the country, so um, that's going to be my major there. I, gosh, amazingly, what mother isn't proud of their kids, but amazingly proud and, and just, um, just the way that Cameron has grown. and. Um, developed as a person in his character. I'm very enormously proud because he's just such a dedicated, heartwarming person that strives to have discipline in his life and structure. That's what I think has carried him in his swim career and in his um, soon-to-be career in aviation. So, Looks like his hard work has paid off and Cameron has a bright future ahead of him. We wish him the best of luck. Now, over to Weatherman Josh to see how long this wet weather will last. All right, good afternoon to you. This rain going to continue off and on throughout the remainder of the day. So by 3 p.m., we expect some isolated to scattered showers to continue across the area and even heading towards 6 p.m. Just a few sprinkles and showers will be on their way out, but still lingering on the back side of the system. By 9 p.m., we may actually try to squeeze out a few sneaky snowflakes that may try to make their way down to the ground. So Maybe look for that later this evening. Either way, no accumulation is expected as the system as a whole exits by midnight. Now, in the days to come, tomorrow still on the cooler side. But as we head toward Wednesday, a return of some southerly flow will bring more mild weather to the area. And also, eventually, we'll get into a more active weather pattern as well with a storm track favoring potentially some snow across our area for the next two to three weeks here and there. So on your SVTV 7-day forecast, you'll see that we do have a couple snow chances to talk about. The first one is Thursday night. It's not looking all too impressive at this point. And then we're also tracking one possibly by Sunday, but there are some indications that it could, could hold off until Monday. Otherwise, you see that mild weather returning for Wednesday and Thursday with highs in the low 50s before some much cooler weather returns by the end of the school week. Now, Ryan and Haley, back to you. Thanks, Josh. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Tomorrow we'll take a look at robotics, and your grade school might be gone. Have a great rest of your day.